welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make oba and bomo recipe this is called aguaragua oba continue watching I'll be pounding the calabash nutmeg. Pounding the calabash nutmeg, I will add the scotch bonnet and also pound. Feel free to blend yours. Done pounding the scotch bonnet and ehuru seed, I will set aside. Use some water to rinse the mortar. To make this oba wara wo, I'll be using ungo, which is gotten from palm fruits ash. I will add some water, stir to mix properly. Then I will strain. You can also use potash. Here I have my oba, which is fermented oil bean, then my cooked pomo, cooked stock fish, which I will cut the stock fish fillet into smaller pieces and also debone it. I'll be using one stock cube for this recipe. I'll add the blended crayfish into the paper mixture. Then into a preheated pot, I'll add the palm oil. I will stir the palm oil to dissolve properly. Now add the sieved ungo liquid. I will continue stirring until the, the palm oil thickens. You can notice that the more I stir, the palm oil will thicken. I will crush in a stock cube, add the pepper mixture and crayfish. Continue stirring. I will also add salt, add the oba or fermented oil bean, then I will continue stirring. I will quickly add the stock fish. Add the bomo. I will stir to mix properly. Then I will allow it to simmer so that the sauce will mix together. I will also test for salt, so I don't need to add salt. I'll be garnishing it with onion and otaze. At this stage, I'll be adding the sliced onion and the otazi leaf. Stir to mix together, then turn off the heat. Now the delicious ugwa wara ugwa is ready. You can now serve and enjoy with any drink of your choice. 
I hope you can see how easy it is to make this delicious recipe. And thank you all for watching.